I see. I didn't see the hand come out. Hi, how are you? Good, are you? All right. Thank you. Where do you live, guys? Uh, Massachusetts. And what brings you to Canada today? Uh, we're coming to actually look at a car to potentially purchase. For today? Just for today. What kind of car are you looking at? 1993 Cadillac. Ooh, that's a classic. Uh, yeah, Fleetwood. So you're planning on buying it today, or? Bonjour! Ready, Pops? I'm ready. Welcome to Canada, Canada, Canada. What's up, everybody? Anthony here with Papa Bear, SpecialtyMotorCars.net. And it's been a while, it's been a long while since we brought you on a adventure where we went car hunting. And a lot of my cars all summer long have been non-exciting, adventurous finds. Uh, but just before summer's over here, Papa Bear and I are on the road, and if you couldn't tell where we were already, we are now not even in the country. That's how determined we were to bring you some good car chasing content. We're in Canada now. Uh, we're heading to a very small town, about four and a half hours from the shop in Pelham, New Hampshire. The town is called Desriel or Desraeli, uh, and Papa Bear and I are going to hunt for a Cadillac. 1993 Cadillac Fleetwood Brome with 24 or 25,000 miles. It's got like 47,000 kilometers, which converts. I've done it like six times, but it's, it's like mid-20s for miles. Looks like a beautiful car. Slightly concerned about rust. Don't know what to really expect. Uh, it was left in an estate, and... People don't know much about the car. We're not even sure if we're going to be able to drive it home. Um, I do know that the car is sitting on its original Michelin XW4 tires. So to be somewhat prepared, uh, we brought along wheels and tires with us. And as you can see, I come fully prepared. We got a jack, we got a lug wrench back there. I don't have an electric impact gun. I probably should by this point in my life, but I don't. So we got an old school four way, <laughs> and we got a jack, and we got four full size chrome caddy wheels to go on the car with nice newer tires. Um, just because I know I I'm a risk taker, that's like, I, I don't mind it. But one thing I'm a little antsy about is tires. The car is gonna need tires anyways, and it doesn't have, this is, it's so beautiful up here. It really is. It's like beautiful. I feel like we're in like northern New Hampshire or Vermont. Um, this isn't the Canada that I've been to before. I've been to Canada a few times. Montreal. Uh, I went when I graduated high school. Uh, probably know why. <laughs> uh, Papa Bear has never been to Canada before. First time. First time. So this is the first time uh, for him. <laughs> but uh, so far he likes it. Um, I told them we're going to have to try some, um, oh, shoot, what do they call it? Uh, there's some, uh, I'm trying to think, now I'm drawing a blank here. It's called, uh, poutine, 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 oh, road construction, poutine, 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 it's like, uh, it was delicious. I tried it last time I was here with my buddy Nick and all my Montreal Lincoln Town Car friends. Unfortunately, we're not quite near them or else we'd stop in for a visit, but we might be coming back for another car. So we got about another 20 minutes before we get to the car. We'll bring you back when we get there, show you what we're looking at, and we'll see if we're gonna take this Canadian Cadillac home with us. Don't see any uh, brooms. Maybe it's in its home. Bro, where well, we are looking for a broom that needs a new home. Is there a number or something? 90? Oh, I think it's this house. 90? Uh, I still don't see a Cadillac, but... I'll be in the garage. I don't want to really pull into their driveway if this isn't the right house. I would have thought I would have seen it out on the, like... 
probably don't bring it out, Anthony. Well, I mean, it's a one car garage. I know, but they know what the car is. The guy's supposed to meet you here? I don't know. This wow. Is this wow. Is this is a beauty. It's such a small looking garage on the outside for such a big car, but it's much bigger in here. Wow. Yeah, it's very clean in there. The, the other car was a, a small uh, pickup uh, S10. Oh, so he had it another. Was the one that my mother was using to. Uh, Running around and yeah, around. Yes. Please don't this waste one a lot. Was, oh, these are perfect. The pickup yeah. was not so clean. <laughs> well, it, it, it spared this car. Uh, wow. Rust everywhere. <laughs> We've seen a lot of rusty cars since we crossed over. <laughs> Although they're rusty in you know Vermont and New Hampshire, where we're from, and but. I don't even see a spot of leak or anything. No. Nope. Let me pop it here. Yeah. Okay, yep, okay. see, I told you. Heated cloth. Heated cloth. Heat, and then 93 had three-way lumbar with the recline. They did away with that. They only had one lumbar. Only year for the tissue dispenser <laughs> looking steering wheel. Uh, even the trim under the wheel. And this was 11 of 92. So this was an early 93. All right, we'll take it. No. You don't want to take a ride with it? No need to take a ride. <laughs> it's going to take a little bit of a It'll ride. It'll go for a ride. <laughs> Sure, yeah. <laughs> We're taking it home for a ride. Awesome. car drives absolutely grand. It feels new. It smells new. It looks new. Oh my goodness gracious. 12 seconds later. <laughs> we didn't get too far. Maybe what, 10 minutes down the road? And you can tell it wasn't leaking. I mean, there was not a spot in the garage there. And here we are, four and a half hours from home with a leaking radiator. And it's still got plenty of coal in there. I almost think it's a radiator. That's what I said. Yeah. Radiator's gotta be leaking. Aside from the radiator leak, this is the nicest 93 to 96 Fleetwood I have ever put my hands on. I mean, not even a wrinkle on any of the spears. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Everything. I mean, look at the emblems. All the rub strips. When you know that these are nice, see how clear those reverse lights are? That's when you know you got a good one. No pitting down here. Common spot. Beautiful vinyl top. All right, let's see if we can find an auto parts store because we're going to need to buy some coolant, Dad. Yeah. And be careful you don't step in it. Or water, I don't know. It's got to be the rain. It doesn't matter. We can't fix it right no. now. No, we can't. So we better get going. Yeah. Just going to watch the heat. Well, 
I think that this car did not want to leave Canada. But it's got 41,000 kilometers. If we hit this, oh, not trip. Well, I do want to hit that. We're going to do 25,828 miles. Forgive me, Cadillac Lords, for I'm about to sin. Oh my God, this road is dirt. And the Cadillac Gods are gonna rain down on me tonight. If they haven't already, the gentleman who owned this car, his spirit is raining down on me right now because I'm doing this to his precious Cadillac. Well, this is a little bit of a problem, obviously. If we came prepared with wheels and tires, I haven't put them on yet. Um, but our plan was we were going to try to get over the border and then put them on because try to get some daylight. I'd like to cross the border when it's still daylight. And we pulled over for the ice cream to kind of just collect ourselves and the cooling. The problem is we're so in the middle of nowhere. This is like farmland up here that the closest auto parts store is 45 minutes away. So we're boogieing it down there, hoping we can dribble as we go, but still be fine. Uh, we're on our way to a Canadian tire. Uh, <laughs> I've heard about these places. It sounds like an auto parts store, and it is, I think. But I think they also sell other things, like housewares and stuff. I don't know. Anyways, we're on our way to Canadian tire. Hopefully we can get a little bit of coolant. I don't know, I might try to put some type of bars leak or something in there. Oh, I think that's the sign for Canadian Tire. Yes. Oh no, is this a new Canadian Tire? I don't know if it's even open. Oh no, they're open. Yeah. Oh, they're definitely open. Yes. All right, we made it. Oh yeah, we're still, we're still dripping. Oh, this. What's that? Back to you, must have just fallen oh, out. Oh, yeah, because you sit on the dashboard. Yeah, that, I move up. Oh, that's Fisher hydraulic fluid. That doesn't help us. I need coolant. Huh. Stop. No, it's still leaking. Is it? But it's not overheating. Oh, yeah, it's still leaking. But it's not overheating. But well, look, it didn't really go down that far. No. Let's run in and see what we can get. Gonna have to let the car cool down to crack this thing open too, anyways. They sell car stuff and a lot of other stuff. Automobile. Yeah. Where are you going? I'm not sure. Look at this place. So everything in here. This is like they got They got coffee makers. Huh? Pieces of automobiles? Wow. We can do all our shopping. Liquidation? Yeah, cat food. <laughs> all right, yeah, there's fluids. Yeah, holy Moses. This place is huge. Wow, yum. Wow. Look at all this stuff. All right, let's see. Oh, please don't kill me in the comments for doing this. But I'm going to try to put some sealer in. Oh, down here. <laughs> the death in the bottle. Oh, that's transmission sealer. Oh, right here, right? Super coolant. Radiator flush. Yeah, pour and go blue devil. Block seal radiator and heat core seal. Radiator stop. Yeah, here we go. Presto and stop leak. Oh, wow, they get digital. Wow, this place is amazing. So we just bought a bottle of... <laughs> Presto, yeah. Uh, radiator stop leak. 
and my debit card didn't work in there, but I had a TD, personal TD de debit card that worked. Get that. Papa Bear was looking for water, but they don't sell water other than like small bottles of water. We're looking for gallons. So Papa Bear asked one of the kids that worked here, and I think Papa Bear thought he was hard of hearing or deaf because he was trying to explain what water was. Although the kid knew, I don't think Papa Bear knew that he, the kid knew. But we just come back out and yeah, we're losing it. So, uh, I don't know. We're gonna put this in, we gotta let it cool, but we gotta go get water to top it off. What should we do? Should we put this in first here? Where is it? Right down the street? Um, yeah, it's right down the road. Oh yeah, we can leave the car here. The Adventures of Papa Bear and Anthony. We just went to the smallest Walmart <laughs> that we've ever been to. Bought like the last four large containers of distilled water because they don't have any other water. This is the weirdest Walmart. Huh. The radiator is full. How are we gonna get this in the radiator? Oh. It is full. Uh, I don't think we should put this in here. We gotta get this in the radiator and seal that up. And I don't really want to dump coolant. I don't know how to... I would probably leave it for now then. Yeah. Run it some more. Run it some more, you think? Just have it with us. Yeah. We probably got... I don't know another maybe hour to the water. So if we want to stop before then, try to check it out. We can do that. All right. That's what we're gonna do. Got the official road snack of specialty motor cars. We get the share size, but we get our own, so we don't actually have to share. That's true. <laughs> Such a good idea. All right. Papa Bear's driving the F-150. I don't know what that is, gross. Wheels. Let's gas and go. Well, actually, I got gas, so let's just go. Okay. All right, a little update here. Uh, I'm about four miles from the Canadian border. A little nervous because I've never brought a car across the border before, so I hope I have the right paperwork. Um, we're going to see if uh, you never hear from me again or you never see video of this car again. That means I was detained and they took my car. <laughs> so I'm hoping I'm good. We will see. Uh, I got my passport ready. Uh, wish me luck. Let's see how this goes. There's actually only one line open and I'm waiting in it behind this guy. Up is behind me. Oh boy, what's he looking in the back seat of that car for? Look on the back seat. Oh my god. Slightly nervous there. Why he's opening the back seat of that car. <sighs> I could just blast right through the gate. That car's like off. Oh no, he's giving him the paper bag. Okay, my turn. Good, how are you? Where are you coming from? I'm um, originally from Massachusetts. I just came up here to buy this car. Uh, so, let me just grab my... How many could this be? Um, 25, well, yeah, 25,000 miles on it. 1993. How much space is it? Uh, oh, okay. You're going to have to bring that inside of the Oh, okay. Okay. So besides that, any fresh fruits or vegetables in the vehicle? No food. Any alcohol, tobacco? No, sir. Any gifts, souvenirs for anyone? Other than the car any for me. Any bodies in the trunk? No. <laughs> no. Alright, so when I raise this up, yep. uh, if you could pull in, 
next to that red truck, just just you do it like a yeah. one eternity later. No oh boy. with flying colors, baby. Suck in the blue, Papa Bear! <laughs> All right. Welcome back to America, baby. Welcome back to America, Cadillac. This car was built here. It's coming home. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. We still have fluid in the overflow. Oh, that's hot. Ooh. There's still fluid in the overflow. Really? Yeah. I'm not putting any kind of stop leak in there. Oh, it's gone down. It's gone down, but I'll just put a little bit of water in there. We've gone an hour yeah. and a half. Right. We got, what? three hours to go right so if that went down that you know from half to that much in an hour that's double the time so it's gonna we might have to top it off one more time but instead yeah. of putting the stop leak in is that mama bear that's mama bear yeah tell her i said hi and i love her do you hear your son well was in the restroom for all of five minutes. I think that leak is getting pretty serious. So maybe it's a good thing we brought the water. Because it's so late and I'm such a cheapskate, I'm treating Papa Bear to the best mobile lunch slash dinner on the road plenty of water Papa Bear's got the seafood salad finger sandwiches $3.99 get my chicken bacon ranch seven bucks how does it even work out Just imitation seafood yeah probably from a mobile I, I hold no liability on the deliciousness of that seafood can't take you to any fine dining establishments, Dad. Unbelievable. Are you trying to embarrass me now? I bring you to the nicest mobile this side of the U.S. border. I take you out for seafood, and you leave half of it in the parking lot. You see food? I <laughs> see food. You eat it. <laughs> <laughs> New Hampshire, past Franconia Notch. It's about 11 o'clock. We're at 26,039 miles, and I'm gonna check the coolant level here. Got about another hour and 10 minutes to go. Hopefully, we don't get murdered. This will look like a murderous type of place. Uh, definitely a murderous type of place. Oh yeah, people die here. Holy shit! This thing's barely used anything. I filled that up. Oh yeah, it's leaking. Yeah, you can see the spot. Oh, yeah, I see it right now. Maybe it's got so much horsepower that it can't leak while it runs. You got any spray on your windshield? I got bug spray. Not for not Fleetwood spray? No. All right. What? Good night, Cadillac. Well, that was exciting. Made it back. 
We didn't end up using any of the stop leak and we only used one bottle of water, but this was just in the few minutes I stopped. Oh, nice Park Ave. In the few minutes I stopped to unlock my door. Oh, geez, another Park Ave. Um, <laughs> that was just in the few minutes I stopped to unlock my door, like I said. So, I don't know. It's got to be leaking from the radiator. Radiators are accessible and cheap. It's midnight. Did I do this wrong? Oh, there we go. Grabbing a nice Mustang convertible I got here at the shop. Heading home. We'll come back to the shop tomorrow, give it a wash, and I'll show you, give you a good look at that car because I know I didn't do it very well uh, in the preview. All right, the next morning, let's see how this thing spared. Oh, whoa, 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 yuff. Oh, wow, yeah, she's an unhappy car. I don't know. I'm gonna back her out and I'm gonna clean all these bugs off this car. I mean, we, we caught a lot. Like we were driving in Northern Vermont when it was dark out and it was like, I thought it was snowing. The amount of moths and bugs. Oh my God, this car smells so nice inside. But we're gonna get that all cleaned off and I'm gonna give you a nice little walk around. Where are we at? 26,104 miles. All right, folks, here we are. I wanna close the video out with a little bit of a teaser on how nice this car is. I didn't get to show you a good walk around when we were in the garage out of respect for the gentleman who was selling me this car. And then all hell broke loose on the way back. We got it back, got it washed up, gave it a quick wash. I wanna show you how nice this car is and let me know what you think. Here she is, beautiful cotillion white over a navy velour brome interior now this isn't a base car um a lot of people might think well it's got velour it's got to be a base car it's not it's a brome package car with brome velour interior now these cars just like the 90 to 92s these cars are hard impossible they're so intricate with the detail like i pointed out the spears the trim you know none of this is faded it's not loose a lot of these cars, these uh, trim panels come off. You can see there's no fading in the emblems. You can't duplicate the quality of a mint original car like this. You know, <laughs> people use the word mint a little too loosely. This car is mint. Untouched, you know, unmolested, phenomenal, phenomenal example. I pointed out the reverse lights real real common indicator when those are yellowed and not crystal clear like that the rub strips usually these need to be painted all the stripping around here you see a lot of these repainted some people paint them body color but to see this kind of gray uh you know matte finish or satin finish and it still looks good the chrome look at the chrome and the tail light pockets this car needs a, you know, a good detail, we'll say, to get something like the wax residue out. But the overall quality and condition, you know, the license plate pocket here, look how clean that is. The chrome on the bumper. This is when my job gets difficult because I went to Canada with every intention to not fall in love with a 93 to 96 Fleetwood. And now I have this car, and this car matches two of my 90 to 92s in my own collection, where it's a white car with a blue velour. And I love velour. I know I'm the minority that loves velour and the, the 90s bromes. This being a, a brome package car with heated velour, it's really hard to beat that. Um, it's just a phenomenal example all the way around. All the trim around these windows here. Anybody who has one of these cars um, can probably attest to what I'm talking about. But you can see there's some wax buildup in here that needs to be cleaned out. Nothing too crazy. Just a, a nice little fine detail. But the overall quality, the paint on this car, nice and smooth. 
the chrome. There's no hazing or fading in the chrome. I've seen that before. Um, these front bumper impact strips are real common. I mean, just look at the bright work on this car. Absolutely perfect. Spears all the way down. Now this does have the base, I don't want to say base alloys because the base Fleetwood came with a lacy base alloy, but it has the regular alloys that these cars came with as a brome package car. And I do have a set of chrome wheels, which are an accessory for these cars or an upgrade. I do believe I'll put those wheels on this car. It's hard for me to peel original wheels off, you know, especially since these ones are so nice. But we did drive it all the way back on these XW4 tires, which I know is nuts. And you're going to yell at me in the comments. I said it before I even got there. But, you know, with the coolant leak, we just weren't even thinking about the tires. We were already in the limping back process. Look at the spears. This car is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, one thing I do want to do is clean the vinyl top. Uh, it's a phenomenal shape, but just from age i mean you can wash vinyl but it after a while it gets a little dirty and you can kind of see it see a slight tinge uh, i think that was a smear from me uh i don't know i'm just i'm in awe so i guess where i was going with this is i had no intention to buy this car and add another car to my collection i really don't have any room to add another car to my collection so <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with this thing. I really don't. It's so nice. It's the combination I want. Like I said, heated velour. I mean, these seats are just so comfortable. Look at the, the, the piling in the carpet. This is untouched from me as I just bought it. I mean, very rarely can you do that. Dash pad, very common for fade to start on these corners. Has the garage door opener option. Has the tissue dispenser, or tissue box, uh, I should say. One thing I do have to fix, it has a trunk of jar light on, 26,000 miles. Air is still nice and cold. Um, the power pull down does not work uh, in the trunk power it up um, so that's why the light is on it does have the locking gas door they had mats over the mats it does have a full size uh, matched alloy yeah, let's see if we can get this off wheel that's never been on the ground, Jack, even GM locking lug nuts. So that's the Fleetwood. Tell me what you think down in the comments. Should I keep it? Should I, I, I don't know, I, I might have to, I, I don't know. This car is just absolutely, absolutely phenomenal. And these cars ride so well, you know, the typical Cadillac floaty waterbed feel. Drop me your thoughts down in the comments. Should I keep it? Should I hold on to it? I really don't have the space. I own the car. I have plenty of other cars I can sell before I have to sell this car. So, I don't know. It's a 93 Fleetwood Brome, 26,000 miles, beautiful car. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'm going to try to get some more chasing car content uh, <laughs> like this. Uh, but I do want your opinion of this car. I value it. I do read through the comments. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll talk to you on the next one. Oh, my goodness. Look at all this. Even the Calgary still works. Ooh, baby.